Oh, what is this? <gasps> Look at this dude. Ooh, Pawnee Meadows, how about this? Uh, Bo here from BZ Hub. How's it going, everyone? We're playing Hunting Simulator 2, as you can hear those ducks off in the background. They are so loud. They are so loud. And today, if you if you follow the BZ Hub, if you've been following the BZ Hub, then you know one of my favorite animals to hunt in the Hunter Call of the Wild is the elk. And uh, lucky for us here in Pawnee Meadows, elk are, are rather abundant. In fact, I thought... Thought I'd notice one. Oh, yeah. Look at those antlers over there. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, go try to find some elk today and uh, show you what this is gonna be. I am using, I can go into my loadout right now. I am using the XPR Strata threaded in uh, 308 right now. So uh, that tells you what I'm using, but I do have a bunch of other weapons, and so if we uh, if we do go to a tent or something like that and realize that there are um, some elk close nearby or something like that, we may switch to a compound bow or something to give that a try. I've honestly not used it yet, so uh, could be disastrous results, could not be, but uh, worth a try, I think. What's that? Bighorn. Yeah, Pawnee Meadows. It is crawling with life most of the time. Um, so yeah, there is an elk right over there on the other side of this meadow. Just to show you a little bit of kind of like how this gameplay works. If you see something like that, you can see off in the distance there, there's a tower and there's also a tent over there. So we're just going to go back to our cabin right now and uh, use the fast travel to zoom over to our tent. And uh, we should have a really good view of the elk from here. And just like I said, boom, he's right there. Right there waiting for us. Um, I have a joke that kind of goes with the hunting simulator games, and it's that if the game doesn't know where your bullet is going, it's going into the stomach. Um, if it looks like it's going to go into the lungs, it's going into the stomach. Um, so you can take a shot while they're walking. You can try to aim at like the front uh, of their chest or something like that to really maximize your chances of it going into the lungs or the heart. Um, but you, uh, you run a really good chance of it going to the stomach and with these elk being such big beasts. Oh no, it's running. It is running away. With these elk being such big beasts, they're, uh, they're really good at just kind of sh shrugging off bullets. So, uh, yeah, once we get a good shot, and once we get a good view of this elk here, and if it keeps running this way, we may have to go to a different tent, but uh, we'll, uh, yeah, squeeze the trigger on this guy. We must have had the wind. No, the wind's going this way. So I don't know. I don't know why that elk got upset. We're laying on the ground. I would have thought we were doing okay. Oh, he's coming right to us. There we go. See, I really had to put it... I mean, obviously, that's just leading in general, but... Really aim for that front shoulder there. We do have a bunch of bighorn over here. We're running off. That's something you see a lot. Sometimes you'll just spawn into a tent and they'll already see you and start running off. But, uh... Yeah, that's the name of the game. That's how it works. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Our first elk of the video. Right on. You can hear those ducks again. Let's bag this guy. You don't know the score of the animal until you get back to your cabin. Which, you know, in a way kind of makes sense. If you're, you know, hunting or something for a whitetail, uh, just using that for, since I'm in Kansas. I mean, you usually don't know, you know, the, the length of the antlers and all that until the score, I suppose, until you get back home and you, you know, you score it with measuring tape and whatnot. So, so that makes sense in a way. Let's go back to the tent here and go somewhere else. So the name of the game when it comes to uh, hunting elk and, you know, animals alike in this game is uh, basically when you go to your log cabin, your uh, your lodge, if you will, you, you buy tags. And so you have a certain number of animals that you can hunt with those tags. I bought, I bought the elk tag, and so I'm able to hunt three different elk before uh, my license, you know, my tag fills up. Okay, Bjorn 2, I see it. It's a rabbit. Gosh, calm down. Hello, rabbit. Um, 
So anyway, if you want to maximize, you know, your hunting time and, um, you know, the purchase of your tags, the thing is, if you shoot two of the three, the next time you go out hunting and, you know, you have three big elk and so or something in front of you, um, you can only shoot one of them because you, you only have one left out of the three. So it's kind of nice to just go ahead and shoot three of them on your hunt out. And that way you, uh, you don't waste a trip, you know, going into the game and then shooting one and realizing, oh no, I don't have any. I don't have any more. See, okay, so we see this elk is moving off that way southwest. And I'm not sure if we'd be able to see it from that cabin or not. We're back to uh, where we were, basically. The uh, yeah, the the tent that we first viewed that elk that ran off is right over there. I'd say just like in the Hunter Call of the Wild, when you go around and grab outposts and whatnot, it's somewhat similar to do that. It's important to do that when you're starting out. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Look at this dude. Stomach shot. Oh no! Oh no! Got that too many shots, but uh, it was worth it. That's a monster. And I will say that these elk do give you good money. I mean, they'll give you $790 or so and a $250 fine when you're looking at making $750. Um, obviously, you can go off and, and, and hunt another elk and not be fined, but, you know, you might as well follow up with it. Don't leave the animal hanging. Our digital animals wounded, feeling bad. But look at this dude. So, th okay, so that last one was pretty big, and I don't know what the size comparison will be with this one. But this one does look bigger, doesn't it? I want to say anyway. I want to say anyway. Get a nice little screenshot here. There we go. Get in the picture, Bjorn 2. Right on. Okay. Well, let's get him. Yeah, we did get the stomach in that first shot. Didn't lead him correctly. Warned you about it, and then I didn't do it correctly. What does that say about me? Just a chump. Okay. We got a big horn over here, and uh, we did see one last elk walking off southwest, wasn't it? So, we can either... Ooh, what do we got here? Feral. Feral hog there, wild boar. Um, we can either chase after that elk or just try some other tents and see if we find other elk in those locations. So, we'll see what we can do. More bighorn. Look at that boy, though. And I think if we're interested in getting that guy, which we probably should be, we should go to this tent and then we should have a really good view of him from here. As the pond he was walking next to is right over here. Tell you what, I'm going to use this opportunity. He is drinking right now. And, uh, like I said, I haven't used any of the bows, so we might just come in here, change our loadout, and, uh, equip a bow. Maybe should we try the crossbow? I don't know how, uh, good I would be with the, uh, compound bow, so we might as well give the crossbow a chance. It's okay. Say at about 40 yards, we need to aim. My goodness. My goodness. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot anyway. You can tell that, uh, if I remember it right, that fox didn't even run off when we shot at it. So this crossbow is rather quiet in comparison to a rifle. So that's good to know. Let's tell Bjorn to stay here. Stay. doesn't look like he wants to stay oh no our elk is on the move
Oh, that was close. God. I keep waiting for him right when he starts turning that corner. I try to nail him with it. Got him! Got him again, but it's not dealing a lot of- I'm not hitting anything vital. Oh, he turned. Drat. <laughs> well, that was exciting. But, I mean, we were just kind of taking shots in the dark. Let's get back to the cabin and switch out to a, uh, a rifle. <laughs> that was exciting, though. Man, it would have been cool to really get a bolt stuck in somewhere good. Just drop him on the spot. So we've switched out for our rifle now. Hopefully, when we go to this tent, he should be coming over here, I would think. Cougar! That's a, that is another thing. That's an important animal right there, especially with Pawnee Meadows. Um, but we'll get to that in another video. So stick around. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you can see that video when it comes out. Another cougar. My gosh. Alright, well, I think we lost our elk, unfortunately. But, lucky for us, Pawnee Meadows, you ask and it shall provide... So, uh, let's go see if we can find another one. Alright, we're back to our original spot with the rifle. Well, uh, maybe we can get our, uh, our old doggo to, uh, pick up on the track of this guy. We did hit him twice with the crossbow, which isn't great, but, you know. Hopefully there's some blood on the ground for him to track, who knows. Hey! There we go! <laughs> Boy, that was some crazy stuff. Finally got him. Our third elk of the day. Which is pretty good. Pretty good there. Oh my goodness. Well, cool. We got him. Let's bag him. Bag him and tag him. Get back to the tent so we can uh, t finally take a look at all of our um, our elk together. My goodness, you could go to town on some... Well, I guess these are females, so you couldn't. Is that a bobcat? Looks like a bobcat. The bobcat are, uh, incorrectly sized at the moment. They're, like, the size of rabbits. Um, but in your lodge, they're the correct size, so that's kind of funny. Okay, back to the cabin so we can see how these, uh, three stack up now. So we get back to the cabin, and there's an elk. Just... It's a female, though. <laughs> just standing there. Okay, let's claim these animals. Let's look at the scores here. So our first one in the in the lungs there 168. This is 201. So this one's quite a bit bigger. And then 168 again. We had two 168s. Um, the first one and the last one and then the one in the middle was actually 201. So a really really good size one. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and um, I think you can see they're all selling for 916 despite the size. So uh, that really shows you what you can do. 916, 916, 916. Sell all of those. And we'll uh, let's go back to the lodge since we filled our elk tag. And we're back in the lodge right now. Now I will say... Uh, prepare for disappointment with the elk <laughs> but uh, I wish there was a way to uh, switch out the mounts I'm not sure if it goes in any particular order or what but I mean this plaque seems too small for this moose and uh, yeah and then this boar is on a plaque that seems too big for him so I'm not sure why at first I thought maybe like in the first hunting simulator, like, there was a specific place for the fox, there was a specific place for the snow goose, or, you know, Ross's goose, or whatever, um, and bobcat and whatnot, but, in this game, I'm not sure, because that doesn't seem correct, that, or he's just small, because that seems like a pretty big plaque in c comparison to, like, this, or something like that, which seems smaller, but maybe it's not, maybe it's the same size. Eh, could be the same size. Anywho, let's get back to the elk here. Let's go upstairs. The elk is upstairs next to the black bear. Ooh. 
Um, here is the elk. Unfortunately, um, when it's mounted, the elk antlers are not on the elk. <laughs> um, and you can see there is some clipping going on there, even with it being, like, if the antlers were in the correct spot, there would still be clipping. And you can see there is clipping on the moose antlers as well, um, which is unfortunate. I feel like they need to lean forward, maybe. You can see how that boar over there is, is kind of leaning forward a little bit, maybe. And I think they maybe need to do that with the moose as well. And the elk. You know what, just all things with antlers, just do, do it already. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. You can see there's lots of detail in the lodge here, but um, yeah, there you go. A nice elk hunt in Pawnee Meadow. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you, uh, you know, if you're thinking about getting this game, it is a nice little break um, from the Hunter Call of the Wild. And it's just, you know, like a lot of you have been saying, it, it is fun to have a nice hunting game. And uh, we shall see, you know, other than that, what it turns out to be. But uh, yeah. It is pretty fun. I'm enjoying it anyway. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want to see more Hunting Simulator 2 videos, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, like I said. And uh, yeah. As always, hunters, keep gaming, never stop. <laughs>